Hi, you guys. Welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks of uh, July 2nd through the 15th, 2017. Uh, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin. Also, I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Uh, I ask that you all please continue to do so. Um, and also, you guys, uh, oh yeah, I am, I still don't have a, a website, but um, I did join uh, a network, um, a network of like psychics and readers, um, so I'll leave the link to that um, in the description box, you can, uh, if you, for those of you that have been wanting to talk to me on the phone, I'll be doing it through that site. However, um, um, what do you call it? I don't have a schedule, so I, I don't like schedules either. So I'll just be hopping on and off. <laughs> You'll have to catch me randomly. Um, so yeah, I just started that, uh, this week, um, Actually, I haven't been on there yet. Shame on me, but I, I'll be on there. Okay, you guys. <laughs> All right. So, um, oh yeah. And then for private readings, you can always, you know, email me for if you want your uh, private video reading. Uh, now, one card did shoot out. Oh, is the lovers reversed? Uh, so I guess that's an important message uh, along with this. Um, so let me just go over this first. So the heart of the situation, we have uh, the Six of Swords, Empress, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, the Sun, the Moon, Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Um, okay, so first off, before I even get into this, I want to say that I see some breakup and making up this week I hope I look okay you guys I got on one of those stupid drawstring bras I know you guys probably don't want to hear that but I'm just like okay is it looking weird okay so anyway <laughs> um there is some breakup on off again energy or um during this week with the lovers especially popping out reverse when I was shuffling um, either someone tried to lure your partner away and they turned them down but it still caused some sort of conflict in a temporary breakup or this could have been the other way around I don't know maybe this happened to you somebody tried to pull you away from whoever you're with uh, because it's like a decision someone intervened or tried to intervene your relationship I feel like that offer might have been turned down or you decided not to move forward with this other person for some of you cancers you could be dealing with a twin flame uh, or maybe your twin flame left you or you left them someone could have run um, but and also with this being in reverse it's like communication I feel more so like it was some sort of dishonesty and maybe the truth came out the wrong way like the way things were expressed it was it sh shouldn't have come out that way there may have been some major miscommunication and everything kind of got turned upside down or came out the wrong way it's like no it wasn't supposed to come out that way you weren't supposed to find out this way so something happened that kind of threw the relationship off um six of wands i'm seeing like a someone's being very popular someone either has been stroking your ego or you've been stroking someone's ego if you're single um you've been pretty popular probably getting a lot of attention. Someone's been paying you a lot of attention. Uh, someone has been encouraging you or you them. But um, I'm seeing like a lot of confidence that also could have contributed to the breakup or being overconfident or paying too much attention to a third party. 
uh, because also with the Empress here, this is someone who looks, who's very attractive. This person is seductive. You know, it's the other woman, the mistress. Um, it could be you. You could have been trying to lure someone away, you know, um, by making yourself available. And... I don't always want to make the Empress seem like the other person, but a lot of times it is. it's not like they're trying on purpose all the time. Sometimes it's like they couldn't help it. Like this is also someone who is spoiled. They just get what they want. Like I wasn't even doing anything. I was just sitting here and your man started talking to me or, um, you know, reverse the role. Same thing. A, a guy was like, I, I was minding my own business and this female just came up on me. The women, they won't stop coming to me. You know, so this is someone who is getting like a lot of attention and kind of feeling guilty of it at times and feeling like they're trapped or like I can't look at anybody because if I look at them, you'll say I'm looking at them the wrong way. So there's some sort of energy going on where someone is feeling like, they're stuck in some sort of situation they're feeling suppressed maybe they feel that they can't um that they have to hide or suppress their beauty or dumb themselves down in some type of way um but i'm, I'm feeling like someone is feeling like they're just stuck or or uh, what do you call it paralyzed or you know they're they're not able they're not free to move about someone is feeling like they can't be themselves I feel like so either you or your partner somebody's feeling like they they can't truly be themselves um I feel like they're trying to restrain themselves they're trying not to look I really feel like it's somebody that's just really attractive that they're attracted to or you're attracted to and either you or your partner is trying not to look trying like I can't look at this person if you are single, this is definitely you trying to intervene. Um, not all of you, some of you. There's somebody out there watching this. You know who you are. You trying to take somebody away. You're making yourself really available. And maybe you don't, maybe the thing is that you don't know they're taken. You don't know that you're actually like the third, uh, the other man or the other woman. So it's like, I, I see like a temporary split. Like you are either the cause of someone's breakup or someone tempor temporarily broke you and yours up. Um, I, I do feel like the truth is going to come out. There is going to be a reconciliation and happiness again. Um, but it still leaves someone feeling insecure and having like those old fears resurface. Like someone is like, oh, can I trust them? Or one minute you feel optimistic and like you can trust, you you trust the relationship and everything. You're trying to be positive. But then the next thing you know, you're being, those old fears are coming back like, oh, they cheated on me in the past. So my, my old uh, partners, my old boyfriend, my old girlfriend, they used to cheat on me. Um, because I'm seeing like all these insecurities kind of coming back up to the surface. And it's also this Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde type personality too. So either you are behaving, um, emotionally split back and forth, up and down, or your partner is, um, but I do feel that you and your partner are going to have like a talk about everything because I do feel that you guys were destined to come together. Um, this is like, for me, like a old past life relationship, something that you have come to face, um, uh, that you've come to deal with in this lifetime. And for those of you that study astrology too, I also feel that, um, for me, sometimes the moon card corresponds to Rahu. That's not any written tarot card documents or anything like that that's just how I feel I feel like this is the shadow side this is like an illusion and Rahu is the, it I said Rahu uh north node I'm sorry I study Indian astrology too so um the north node um is like the card of illusion it's also that karmic card that you have to deal with in this lifetime um so this is some sort of past unresolved fears that you need to 
you know, that's why this person has come into your life and you, they are some sort of mirror image for you. So even though you want to point the finger and say, well, they did this, they, you know, did that, they didn't do this. Look at yourself too. Um, what is that old saying? When there's one point finger pointing at that person, there's three fingers pointing back at you, whatever. But um, I do feel like it is that type of situation. Like this person, even if they are, look, whatever they're not doing that you don't like, take a deep and a close look at yourself because they are just portraying a mirror image of something within you something that you are not subconsciously aware of um um not consciously aware of i'm sorry but it's something deep within your subconscious and their projection um their projection of your fears uh, i feel like too though that you guys might be a mirror image for one another that's why especially for those of you that have met your twin flame or are dealing with a twin flame uh you could be dealing with a gemini uh, Leo, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, or Libra, uh, for many of you. Um, so let me see. I felt like, like a lot of information was coming out in that. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm finished before I look into the following week for you guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, for some of you with this moon card as well, uh, you could be, uh, an empath and you might be picking up on the emotions of your partner. Like you guys might have some sort of psychic or, um, uh, uh telekinetic link. Like you guys just pick up on one another's emotions. And if you're single... Um, uh, looks like, you know, out of all these offers with you making yourself really attractive, you're going to get what you want. Um, something may lead you to reconnect to someone like you're going to find a match. Uh, if you don't enter a relationship, then I feel like at least you're going to meet someone that you have a connection to. Um, and it may be new for you. This whole, it's like an old soul, but it's something new about it. Maybe it's a new experience. Maybe they're younger than you. So something of that sort. Um, so with the following week, I feel like you are making some sort of plans. Uh, you're looking outward. Uh, you might be planning to, to move or to travel or to start your own business. Um, especially the, for those of you that are thinking of becoming self-employed, there's something that you're being inspired to do. You're passionate about it. Um, especially if it's you and your partner, you guys might be trying to, might have some power struggles in, uh, your business or figuring out how to start it. Like you guys need to write things down out on paper and just communicate more, uh, but somebody's going to feel like they're putting in all the work. Um, this is some sort of carrying some sort of heavy burden and just kind of feeling obligated to complete something or to do something. You might say, I'll just do this by myself because I'm good at this. Uh, so there is something that um, that I feel like you are just carrying all the weight of a project or a situation. Um, I do feel like your finances are going to be really good. I feel like you're going to be financially stable. Um, I feel like you find your, for a lot of you, you're going to find your calling. Um, and there may be some sort of public announcement made on social media. So I don't know, maybe some of you update your status from being single to in a relationship or being single to being engaged or married. Uh, but I do see some sort of settlement too. Like um, it's like making this public being known for this power couple or being known for having a family business. I feel like something is going 
reaching masses, I feel like it's a big deal. Whatever this is, especially those of you that are going into business with your partner, this is a good week for that. I feel like you're going to see the fruits of your labor, whatever you've been working on. And it's like this has been a long road, but now we're finally seeing the results. And I feel like it's going to be financially successful, uh, especially for those of you. Maybe you just started a website and it's just now going live. Um but I do feel like that is happening. Um, so teamwork to you guys. Uh, if you're still single, overall, I just still feel like you're still going to have some sort of financial success. Uh, I feel like you've been, maybe your boss or supervisor has been putting a lot of work on you and you feel like you're not getting recognized or you're not getting your accolades, but you're going to get some sort of recognition, uh, some sort of reward or some sort of plaque or something. I feel like you're going to get rewarded with something. Okay, well, um, this has been a general reading, so I hope it resonated. Uh, remember to leave your comments, you guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.